Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel and welcome again to another painting tutorial. We'll be doing a still life today and I chose to paint some grapes. I did some grapes painting um, last year but uh, those were green grapes and today we'll be doing some purplish reddish grapes you know the normal grapes the usual grapes that we see in the market <laughs> all right so here are the colors here <laughs> i can talk here are the colors that i'll be using for today's for the um for today's painting tutorial <laughs> i can't speak properly guys i'm so sorry all right so and excuse the palette for those who are grossed out by my palette <laughs> If there, are, if there are any people who are grossed out by my um, palette with a lot of dried acrylics, these are dried acrylics, although it doesn't look like they're dry. So we have titanium white, lemon yellow, red, crimson red, and black, and primary blue. So those are the only colors that I'll be using. Um, I'll be mixing some colors later to come up with secondary and tertiary colors but basically those are the colors and they are listed in the description box below so you can refer to them uh if you find that the way i talk is super fast <laughs> so i'm gonna underpaint first or i'm gonna background first my um uh canvas paper we'll be doing some grapes right here in the middle but you have to identify where it's placed all right so uh it, it will be placed on a table and we will be creating some light play as well so let's begin now. I'll be using a fairly large brush for the background so that we get a wider coverage in one stroke. So I'll be using some grayish brown. So I'll be getting more white and black. And crimson red. like this all right i'll be using this i think this is too dark but i'm just gonna add white okay Actually, you can use any color uh, for the background here, but I'm just going to use this one. Okay, so the... It's not the horizon, it's the separation line between the table and the wall will be right here. I think it's like almost more than one third of my canvas here all right just like that okay i don't have to background this area because uh, i want it to be just white so it's up to you if you want to color it with something else but i will use just white Okay. All right, now I'm going to wash my brush out. And I want to know, or I want to sketch first where the grapes are going to go. Okay, so for the sketch, I'll be using just ordinary brush, pointy brush if you want, or if you have one. I'm going to get my... um crimson red for the sketch so that it's quite near the color that I'll be using for the grapes. I'll be adding a little bit of blue. All 
All right. So I'm gonna sketch first. I know that this is still, um, what I mean, wet. <laughs> So I'm gonna sketch first on what I can sketch over those areas that are dry. actually listening to an ASMR video at the moment I said listening because you know I'm making my own video so all I can do now is to listen but it's, it's really good it's very relaxing <laughs> Dirtying my I could have done the correction later but uh, I mean I could do the correction later but um, it's uh, annoying me if I see that <laughs> all right Again, these are just a sketch and I will definitely make some adjustment like I want to make this a little bigger yeah I just want to make it bigger Want to make it bigger? The reason why I'm leaving this more spacious is we'll be adding some shadows to give it some three D effect later. So I'm working more on the left side or my painting is more, um, uh, what do you call this? Yeah, leaning towards the right side, I mean the left side.
So you can see I'm doing a lot of adjustments. We've got a lot of grapes today. All right, okay. So it's a bunch of grapes. Now I'm gonna make some adjustments to my grapes, to the shapes, to the sizes. So I'm still using some um, crimson red with some blue and black and black a little bit of black I'm gonna underpaint now my grapes I'm actually excited, you know, how this will end. I have no, like, huge expectation because we'll be, uh, this type of painting involves a lot of repetitive, um, repetitive brush strokes and colors. So I find it quite uh, relaxing and very meditative. A meditative right let me check if I'm all right so I think I'll be speaking less today because we'll be repeating the same thing if there's a change in what I'm doing I'm gonna tell you Later, we'll be adding some spaces between the grapes. The grapes. For now, let's just um, focus more on underpainting each um, grape. be using crimson red right here and then crimson red right. and then more dark version of that color
Okay, and then I'm using a little darker color for this area. And then back to crimson. And then dark again anyway this is just the underpainting um this will get covered later and by the way i really don't know what time we're gonna finish but i don't mind spending more time on this painting today because i love painting still life still life paintings Done. And I'm just going to darken this. Okay, now I'm gonna get my black. You know, the reason why I'm using a pointy brush is so that I can really make or maintain that roundness. So I'm just gonna use my black and I'm gonna make some negative spaces between the grapes. So let's start right here. This will make our grapes, or this bunch of grapes, more 3D looking. So remember where the separation lines are. Just like that. Okay, I'm gonna make some more. Okay. 
Okay, now I'll be using lighter colors or I'll be darkening first these areas. All right, so basically you, didn't, you don't see any more space, white space. Now let's proceed to lightening or highlighting. I'll be using a different brush. I'll be getting my red. So I'll be getting my red. I'll be mixing that with the crimson red that I have here. Okay, I'll be adding a little bit of white just for it to be more uh, visible and more milky in color. I'll be starting right here on the right side. On the left side, I mean, sorry. So I'm using this color, but I'm not absolutely or 100% coloring everything. red here and there okay I'm almost dry brushing really okay I'm gonna get my black again I'm gonna darken this grape like that. I hope you can see that. We haven't done the light part. Or the highlights so you, some of you probably won't appreciate it that much for now so I'm not gonna watch wash I'm not gonna wash my paintbrush I'm just gonna dab onto my white okay I'm gonna mix it with crimson red to make some light reddish grayish color like this and I'm gonna remove the excess water and I'm gonna start highlighting some areas
And by the way, you know, um, just for the information of some people, I don't really paint mythical, <laughs> mythical subjects or like unicorn or uh, what else, uh, mermaid, things like that. I just don't paint those stuff. Because some people are asking me to uh, paint something, a mermaid, or um, a fairy, something like that. I don't really paint those kind of stuff. Not that I hate, uh, I hate them. It's just that um, those subjects just don't resonate with me. I love Disney, by the way. <laughs> I love Disney, but when it comes to my paintings, I want my subjects to be existing, real subjects. Okay, I know some people like those stuff, and uh, we will have different opinions about that. Just do your own thing. I'm just saying, for those who are requesting that for me to do those kind of uh, subjects, So by doing this highlights, we actually separate already um, some grapes from other grapes. right let me check okay now you can see the separation right but we will do more highlighting later i'm actually excited uh, i'm just so excited okay now using this grayish color just gonna add more red to make it pink but um, you can still see the dominance of red maybe something like this it's not super pink it's more of still on the red side not on the pastel -y, milky color and okay more red actually all right and in the same manner that we did the white I'm just gonna remove the excess water and dab it onto my um, towel Let's create more details. Okay. Okay, this time I won't be using dry brushing. I'm gonna apply a little bit of water. Right, I'm gonna get again my pure red.
I'm gonna get my yellow. Actually, we won't be using a lot of yellow and I'm just gonna add a little bit of yellow hint to this grape, just like that. Because some grapes are not that ripe. And maybe I'm gonna add just a little tiny bit of yellowness for light, for light purposes. Not really because it's yellow, but because of light. Okay. Maybe here also, just uh, use more water Just a hint. You don't want to overdo this. You don't want to do this to each and every grape that you see here. I'm going to wash my brush out now. I'm going to get my black. I'm going to create a little bit of shadowing. Okay, I'm gonna get my red and mix it with the black. Okay, now using this gray, I'm just going to grab some white, actually more black, to make some dark gray. Let's create some shadows. Okay, make sure that you use more water. Make sure that it's really, really uh, watery so that you can apply it smoothly. And then let's create some suggestion of shadow. Later it will make sense. Alright, I'm gonna allow this to dry before I layer some more. I'm gonna get my black and I'm just gonna darken it right here so that there is a smooth transition between light and dark colors. Smoothing it, smoothing it out. I'm gonna allow this first to dry, alright? I'm gonna allow that first to dry. 
let's move on to going back to the grapes, which is more important. I'm going to create some stem. I'm going to get my yellow and blue and then white and then crimson red and maybe yellow we're just going to create that stem I'm going to allow this first to dry. I'm going to get my white. Mm -hmm. The green is mixing. I'm going to get my white. Mix it with a little bit of red. This time more white. So it's like pink. I'm just going to go around again. Let me check. Oh, it's making sense now. Okay, I'm gonna create a little bit of orange this time. Okay, and I'm gonna use that a little bit of orange. 
right here just a little bit again you don't want this to be tangerines you just want a little bit of that color going on Gonna get my yellow and white. Oh, where's my white? There you go. I couldn't find my white. <gasps> All right, I'm gonna create more. Like uh, a little bit of yellowness going on. All right. Okay. A little bit of yellow going on here here okay I'm gonna get my black So I'm trying to make some separation lines between each grape. Okay, I'm gonna darken this area because it's not really receiving too much light compared to the other grapes.
Okay. Gonna get some more pink. Let me check from the camera view. It's nice. Really nice. Okay, I'll be adding a little more highlights later. For now, I like it. <laughs> Okay, I'll be using a different brush this time just to uh, make my highlights more nice. Okay, so I'll be using this brush. I'm not sure if it's going to be effective, but it's wider. It's not as pointy as the other one that I just used. So I'm going to use this for um, highlighting. So I'm going to get this brush, dry brushing, get my pink, same, I'm going to add more white. And as you can see, I did not really add uh, water, but I accidentally grabbed blue, which I don't need. Anyway, I'm just going to remove the water and carefully get my white. All right. Okay. This is perfect. I'm going to remove the excess water, get my red. Okay. Again, remove excess water or moist moistness <laughs> is that a word moisture <laughs> moisture <laughs> all right i'm gonna get or i'm gonna make some dry brushing By dry brushing, we actually create patterns on our subjects that are more natural looking than, you know, weird patterns uh, by doing straight markings or very symmetrical markings. It's just weird. Okay, I'm gonna get my pure white.
I'm gonna use some, um, let's uh, correct this one already, or let's relayer it. So again, gray, okay, the one that we just used, let's just relayer it. Okay, now I'm going to get some white. Let's add a little bit of that white, just right under the shadow, or I mean under the grapes, whose shadow is being cast on. Gonna get my red. And spread it on some areas. Especially on the grapes located on the left side. I'm applying some uh, dark colors, dark reds. We want some dimension going on. So there will be some dark and some light areas.
this is so nice. Oh my god. I wasn't really expecting this at all. Okay, I'm very happy, you can tell. Okay, I'm using reds. You know, I, I cannot really tell, I mean, I cannot really say that this tutorial is for beginners, but I still encourage beginners to paint along with me because we really don't know what uh, the surprise. If you try something like this, even for the first time, you don't know. If, what if you can make it? What if you find out that you're really good, right? So just try and you just don't know what's gonna happen. Just like that and then I'm gonna get my white pure white so I'll be using a clean brush so I'm just cleaning the area but I'm gonna overlap some white right here where the wall and the table is placed so that we give it more light effect I'm also, in effect, cleaning uh, the areas, especially where there are some colors that went outside my sketch. We're not yet done, especially for the stem. I haven't really done the details. Okay, a little bit on the shadowy part, just a little bit to really give it some light effect. Good. I like it. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna use the remaining white on my paintbrush to highlight even more. The grapes on the left side, just using the remaining paints. I did not grab any new paint. We want some um, markings to be there. All right, good. Okay, now let's finish this one. Oh, by the way, I really haven't done I forgot to highlight this grape. Good. Let's go here. Gonna get my black. Let's add 
some details. Okay, I'm gonna get my brown. So in order for me to have brown, I'm just gonna mix yellow, red, and black. Maybe white as well. Some white for highlights. Just like that. Gonna add. So using black, I'm just gonna create like an extension of that stem going on right here. Okay, just like that. Okay, and then using some more um, crimson, we're gonna color the back area with that, but only a little, of, a little of that color, because since they are at the back or in that area where the light is not really uh, being able to pass through, they should not be highlighted.
Let me check. Oh, this is good. Oh my gosh. This is so good. I wasn't really expecting this in all honesty. So now, just for the final touch, I'm going to get the crimson color and red. Okay, I'm going to use a lot of water because I would like to glaze over the grapes area. I'll be adding a little bit of blue to make it more like purplish, but just a tiny bit. Again, water. And I'm just gonna go and glaze over the grapes okay if you are scared of doing this don't do it because actually the grapes are fine already but I want it to look more whole I want it to be one like one picture I don't want it to look like it's separated from each other I forgot to highlight this one. Let me check. Oh, this is so amazing. I love it so much. Oh my gosh. Okay, right. I love it. I love it. in the background Some more suggestion of light.
Wow, I love this one. Oh my gosh. I want a little bit of green going on. Yeah, a little bit of green. Okay. All right. I think I can sign this now. It's it's looking good. So I'm going to sign this now. Yay, I'm so happy. I'm going to sign right here because this area is quite busy already. But anyway, again, before I do that, I see some markings. And I don't like it. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to sign this now. I'm going to sign right here. We're done guys, we're done. I hope you enjoyed this one. And I'll be linking in the description box below the link to my previous grapes tutorial. So I hope you like this one and I hope you do this one as well. If you like this video, let me know in the comment section below. If you're painting along with me, let me know as well. So see you next week. See you in my next video. Bye guys. Love you.